morning. Welcome to Village in Motion. Today is March 1st, 2017. My, my cue sheets here says 2016, but I believe it's 2017. <laughs> Last I checked. Uh, welcome, and this morning we have with us Bob Gulrick and Mary Mackey, and we're here to talk about dancing this morning, if you couldn't guess from the music that we had to welcome us. Bob, let's start with you. We're uh, going to talk about dancing this morning. Talk I do, I do, Susan. Thank you. And we like the title of your program, You Should Be Dancing. That's right. That's what we all, always say to, to newcomers. Uh, we are, our group is, a, is what we call the ballroom dance group, but really we would prefer to call it the social dance group. Ballroom has a connotation that makes, gives some people pause to uh, think, oh, all those fancy steps like you see in those, uh, in those dance competitions. It's not like that. It's basically, it's a social group, socialization, ballroom dancing, which mainly just means that uh, the, the two partners dance touching with <laughs> and holding uh, each other instead of, you know, the, the dancing apart thing. Uh, we have uh, probably in our in our dancing group, in our dance group, total um, of people that come, everybody doesn't come all the time, but come and go. Uh, we have a, a probably about 100, 100 people. Wow, so we have a lot of dancers here we at Green We do, Spring. we do. So uh, basically, uh, that's like one out of 20 in <laughs> <That's laughs> Green Spring uh, are dancers or come to the dancers. Not everybody's a dancer. Sometimes uh, they, people will come just to socialize and listen to the music. It's a good way to meet other people. Uh, the, 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 we, we do a, you know, everybody introduces themselves and is welcoming to newcomers. And speaking of, th of that, we do have a, um, a sheet here, a, a one page, uh, sort of a fact sheet that lists all of our ballroom, all of our dance activities including our dances and our, and our lessons. Uh, we, ha we hand this out to new residents. We give this out to new residents so they, or, or prospective new residents, so they'll know what's, what we're doing here. They'll know what's available. And sometimes uh, prospects are interested in, in what we have, what opportunities we have for dancing. It's so a great way for new, new residents to meet people, but for those of us who have been here for a while, if we'd like to get out and try some dancing, that this is a, a good way to find out this information. Where can I get this paper? Uh, you can get it. Uh, it's available at the sales office. They have a supply of copies to hand out to new residents. Or you can get it from uh, any of the ball, from, from me. You can call me at 703-866-0262. And, uh, but easy to remember every Friday night. Every Friday night. Seven o'clock in the Akatink room. Right, and we, that's that's our regular, and the and the beginning. That was the original dance format. Friday night dances, seven to nine in the Akatink room, uh, every night of the year except uh, uh, Christmas and things like that. Now let me ask you a question: Do I need a long gown and a tuxedo? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's the dress is casual. Uh, there's no cost. Uh, all you need to do is show up at the door. Um, we do have a, a sign-in sheet to, so you give us your uh, room number. Uh, and, um, and just come on in and be greeted by other dancers and made welcome. But if I just want to sit and watch, that's fine? Absolutely. Do so I need to have a partner? No, you don't need to have a partner. Uh, most people do not have regular partners. They're, uh, they're singles. Uh, they come and everybody dances around with everybody else. It's, it's, a, it's a tradition that uh, even th those of us who have partners will go and dance with the other ladies so that everybody gets to dance. And then in addition, we have a, what they call a mixer about halfway through the evening where <coughs> everyone gets up and we all just change partners, dance for a, l a little while and then change partners. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, that's, our, uh, that's our Friday night dances, every Friday night. And that was our original uh, format. 
now we now have um, band dances, and Mary will talk about an uh, upcoming band dance. Yeah, it's uh, uh, St. Patrick's <coughs> Day, and um, I'm selling tickets. <laughs> it's $8, uh, uh, but at the uh, door it's 10 And um, it's, it's, uh, w we dress up a little bit more for that dance. And, and is uh, green, a green a good color to wear? And <laughs> also green beer <laughs> oh, <laughs> will be <wow>. available. <laughs> okay. Um, and there'll be some snacks there, and uh, um, so you can buy lively. the advance tickets are eight dollars, and admission at the door. If you wait to buy your ticket at the door, it's ten dollars. But they can buy tickets from you, or from Bob and Anna. Yeah. And th the, this poster, I'm sure, is probably on the bulletin boards. It is. And likely also on the scroll. It is. So if you're interested in tickets for this, you can look for this poster and know where you can get your tickets ahead of time. And this is going to be where, Mary? This is at the uh, conference room at uh, Hunter's Crossing. So it's, you know, large and ample for everybody. And we have a live band. Mm -hmm. Right. With green beer. And it also says, bring snacks to share. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And what kind of music? Oh, all kinds. Um, mambo, uh, hustle. The hustle was played just um, just before this. As and our uh, music. waltz, foxtrot. Quite a few foxtrots because that's one of the easier ones. One of the popular dances. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good deal. This is one of, of four. We have four band dances every year in March. June, September, and December. Okay. <coughs> and the band is the same band every time. The, the name is Eclectic Coalition Band. <laughs> sort of a peculiar name. But um, the band leader is, is a fellow named Mike Surratt. And he's a very experienced musician. He brings a, what is it, a trio? He has three pieces. Three pieces in his, in his band that comes here. And yeah, they play, as Mary said, a variety of dancing and listening music. Good. So that's the name eclectic. They can do about anything. I guess. <laughs> they can, yes. <laughs> they can even once in a while they try to punish punish us by playing a polka. <laughs> ah, oh, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, that would. Okay. And you also have dances in March, September, June, and December in addition to the theme dances. So watch for announcements about those. And we do have also, Susan, uh, you'll see the second item on here is uh, we have special dances, uh, 4th of July, Halloween, and New Year's Eve. Okay, good to Dances and, and social occasions. Okay. Uh, generally with everybody bringing snacks and, uh, and your, own, your own drinks. You can, okay. You can bring your own, uh, we'll serve uh -huh. non-alcoholic beverages at these dances, but if anyone wants something stronger, okay, <laughs> to bring, bring it themselves. So I, I'm watching the clock here, and I see that we're getting down to the point where you asked us to leave you some time to actually show us some dancing today. And I understand that you're going to dance the mambo for us today? We are. Mary and I are going to dance the mambo, and the reason is, uh, I'm not going to get into the, the lesson program because Linda Conlon will get into that in a few minutes. But um, the, le the dance that we will be teaching in March will be the mambo. Okay. And it is a Cuban dance. It originated in Cuba probably in the 1920s. And uh, it's a sort of a fast dance. You've got to take little, the dances have to take small steps. And um, we, will, we will be teaching it to, um, uh, to anybody who wants to come, free Good. lessons, free lessons. Free lessons. Um, <laughs> on Sunday evenings, in, in every Sunday evening in March. So Mary and I thought would, would give you just a, um, uh, a taste, a sampling of what we'll be teaching and dancing. Okay. So we have a, we have a mambo number we're going to, uh, to do a dance exhibition to de Good. demonstration. Excellent. <laughs> well, we will move. Our, I'll move my chair back. Okay. And you all might want to slide your chairs back. Okay. And we will enjoy. Okay. We will. 
How, how we'll should, begin when the music starts. Should we, how, how should we stand here? What would be the best way? Like this? We'll be dancing around anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I'll try to tell a little bit about what we're doing as we go along. Excellent. Okay. We're going to start with five, six, seven, eight. Now we do the, today we do the side to side. Now we do a pattern called crossovers. Now we do something called cross lead. Do that again to get her back here. Now we're gonna do something called peekaboo. One more. Now we're going to do something called fence line. Now we're going to do one called walk, man's walk around. Back to the basics. And we'll repeat some of those steps. Cross over. Cross lead. Peekaboo. Thank you. Well, I would say to our, to our watching audience, don't let the wonderful talents of these folks scare you off, because if, if you remember the last Dancing with the Stars, they were the mirror ball winners. So <laughs> the rest of you can, can come and learn how to dance. And I, I know they just announced that this next season that Mr. T and Charo and Nancy Kerrigan will be on Dancing with the Stars, and you can come to classes here at Greenspring, and you can enter the next time. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but it's a wonderful, wonderful dance, and we thank you for coming today and sharing all the information about your dances, and we invite you back to come back another time. And we invite you to come to dance well, lessons. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. And, and all of you, including Avon. <laughs> Been trying to get him there for, for months now. <laughs> I have tickets. <laughs> and we have a few announcements to make before we leave you today. In our oh, I'm sorry. We have another segment coming up. Thank you. Uh, and our, in our second segment, we will be having even more dancing. And thank you for joining us. Buy your tickets, folks. Thank you. Okay.
and welcome back to the second half of You Should Be Dancing. In this half, we have with us Linda Conlon and Jim yep. Hughes, and they are going to talk to us about even more dance opportunities here at Greenspring. Linda, yes. welcome again. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you so much for having us again here on Channel 6 for dancing, because we really do enjoy sharing this wonderful way to exercise both the mind and the body and enjoy beautiful music. Now, I've just been to Greenspring about two and a half years now. However, uh, my father was here, and so a lot of you may know my father, Roy Janes, who actually helped to develop, I understand, the Sunday ballroom lessons. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're here to share and talk about, are the ballroom lessons, and then I have Jim here with me today, who is taught this month, the month of February, I mm -hmm. should say, uh, the merengue. And so we're going to be getting up and showing you what we have learned. And Jim, so Jim has been the teacher or the student? He is the leader teacher He's of the, teacher. the program we have of the merengue. Here. And I'm, I'm the technical support person <laughs> okay. for all the answers here. <laughs> and would you like to share just a little bit before we start our dancing? Well, uh, dance, I think, is so important for people who are living here, whether they are live here at, as independent living or assisted living, because music takes us back, I think, deep inside of us. And having the opportunity to express movement and, and music, I, I think, is just a wonderful benefit from living here. Good. Well, everyone that I've, I've seen here dancing is just enjoying it so much, and it's mm -hmm. such a good exercise and for, my, as you say, mm -hmm. mind and body mm -hmm. and soul. Yeah. That's right. Well, I really feel the joy of being able to step in and follow in the footsteps of my father teaching the ballroom oh, I'm dancing sure that's here. An honor. However, I, I came from the Fredericksburg area, and I was teaching ballroom there for 20 years, so <laughs> had a little bit of experience. You was growing up with a dancing for father. That's yeah, great. That's for so sure. we'd like to uh, show you some merengue and in doing that I want to share with those of you watching if you watch our first eight counts and you've said I can't dance this is my standard answer if you've been to the buffet line when you get the buffet line and carry your tray you're doing the first basic step of merengue and when you're pulling out a chair you watch the end of our pattern you'll see that you're doing merengue <laughs> so yes you can dance so come and join us okay right. we're going to move our chairs a little here so they have Just lots of room a little bit we'll watch your wire yeah your wires okay yeah. Okay. Well That's yeah. about as far as I can get out you're of the way. Fine. Yeah, you're, you're just fine. watch too. <laughs> we'll watch too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Music, please. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Thank you. That's our little merengue cat. That was wonderful. Linda, you, you are the epitome mm -hmm. of the person who enjoys yeah, dancing. That's for sure. And Jim, you are do. the epitome of the, the Latin gentleman who is just <laughs> leading his lady through the dance. <laughs> that was wonderful. Well, thank you very much. It was uh, watching Jim on our Friday night dances, getting up there and doing merengue. And he had such joy when he was up there. I approached him to be co-teaching in this in the merengue for our group because a lot of times people come and they'd love to dance and the lessons on Sunday, which are most every Sunday, 
from in the Akatink room at Village Square from seven to eight. And uh, as you saw, beginning March here, we are having Mambo for our lesson. Mm -hmm. And don't feel that you just lost merengue by not being with us with Jim in February, uh, because we do have a workshop where we review patterns too. And when are the workshops? Well, the workshops are Wednesday evening in Forest View down in the exercise wee bowling room. And they're from seven to eight on Wednesday. So you're giving me a lot of days and a lot of times. Yeah. Where can I find a listing of when these are? Well, there's a listing on, uh, on the bulletin boards in each of the clubhouses as well as on the scroll. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of them have my name and phone number. You're welcome to be calling me too. And going back to our lessons though, even though we're having, ju we're having Mambo in March, in April, we're going to have John Carl with us teaching us cha-cha. And in May, my husband Joe Conlin and I, along with Bob and Marie Clark, will be teaching rumba. And then in the summertime, we just teach Sunday on the second Sunday of the month to keep reviewing our patterns during the summer because a lot of people are in and out mm -hmm. uh, from Green Spring in the summer uh, with grandchildren and things. So we then resume in September our full Sunday lessons in the Akatink room. And in September, that first September month, we'll have Shirley doing tango. So, so there I invite are lessons, you to enjoy us any month. <laughs> there are lessons, there are practices. You can find information on the bulletin boards. I know there are information, in, there's information in the Community Resources Handbook. Mm -hmm. There's also information on the Village Bridge right. under resident groups. Uh -huh. So there are lots of places for information. And you can always call Linda Conlon. Right, and I'd <laughs> like for Jim to share a little bit more about our workshops and what he feels he's learning with that. Well, workshops are so important. They're uh, Wednesdays, um, and they give us a chance to kind of catch up with what we were learning on Sunday evening. And it's not an easy oper uh, uh, ex exercise to learn dancing. You have to do it in segments, and that's what's so great about uh, the dances here is that people are learning in segments, and then taking that back to the workshop and working on that over and over again. Just a little practice session. A little practice session makes a big difference. I'm sure. <laughs> it sure does. And we have a chance to go into technique a little bit more and how to help the, mm -hmm. the dance frame sure. and the body lead and the leading and the body flow into these transitions from one pattern oh, to that's another, good. which helps. However, now on the workshops, the third Wednesday of the month, we have a special event, and I'm gonna let Jim share with that. Well, on the third Wednesday of every month, we go over to Garden Ridge and dance with the residents. Oh, wonderful. And it's, it's really um, an opportune time to share the meaning and the feeling behind music for a lot of folks, it has to do with bringing good memories back, comfort, and when we go over to Garden Ridge Wednesdays, uh, every third Wednesday, we dance with the residents, but by saying that, we're not always up and, and dancing. We can be sitting like this, like I am, and I would be over here, and we would be moving, Just moving. moving our hands back and forth, our feet, and uh, again, you can tell by the expression on people's faces just the pleasure that they're so getting. So you're taking your students there with you for all of you to Th participate. That's right. Mm -hmm. we sure I think that's wonderful. And the other an interesting thing, too, is that it, it, uh, so much of this has to do with memory. And so as we're dancing, whether we're up and dancing or sitting, the, the residents remember their lyrics. And it's fun. It comes back. It comes back. Excellent, good. I think the other part of dancing is really to reinforce that there is such a joy to be able to be up on the floor and participating in, in dancing in fellowship with rhythm and music. Music has us tapping our toes, you know, moving our knees, whatever, but we, we don't have to go beyond just like three steps as long as you're on that floor. As long as you're moving. Moving okay. our bodies because right. it's so important to keep us moving. Right. Yes. And, and so helpful to us. But there's such a joy in it when you're in fellowship with, with dancers. Mm -hmm. And we're here to bring you every opportunity we can Excellent. through the Friday night dance, the Sunday workshop, I mean the 
uh, Sunday lessons and the workshop and hope you'll come and join us. That's right. Well, a lot of people you. came in never dancing before. And it can work. It can. It sure can. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And we say to all of us, you should be dancing and you can be dancing if you'll join these folks to do so. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And thank now you. let's move on to our announcements for today.